Hi everyone, so for this lesson we'll be looking at another spray painting um, technique or design so to say um, that would have part of the bottle remaining and translucent and part of it being sprayed. So I think some of you have seen um, some designs where you have stripes yeah, so you have maybe one color, either the way it is here, translucent, and then some um, paint on the other side, um, or just having two different strips of paint. So the one that um, I'll be showing you is um, where you have one that's trans one side translucent and the other side that has paint. And we'll be using um, some gold paint for this. Yeah. So. You know, I need my gloves, of course, because we'll be using um, the spray paint. I have my scissors. Ah, it's been overworked. My scissors, yeah, but I'll be using like this, which is um, cello tape. Not the normal type of cello tape that you use. Um, this one is really used for when, when painting. Yeah, to prevent paint from, 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 from coming onto a certain portion of the bottles, or even if it's in a house, usually. You've seen people paint to put the type of paint, yeah. So it prevents paint from, from spilling to make sure that something is neat and straight. So this is what we'll be using today as well. And then I have my mask, of course, because you know in spring, especially um, indoors, the windows are open. That's a very good thing. You know, you need a well ventilated room, but you know it's always important to cover your nose, unless you're spraying from outside. But even outside, if you can, just wear a mask. I use my, my mask which has come in handy because of uh, COVID, <laughs> COVID mask, but it works just as well for me. Yeah, so we can get on with it. So I'm just going to cut this part that I had um, already put out. Yeah. And just put this on the side. And then what I'm going to do is just put um, one layer of the tape around the bottle yeah i'll just take it round around the bottle until it reaches the end so when it reaches the end here and you cut it off with the scissors And just have it pasted down there, yeah. Just make sure that um, it's pretty tight, yeah, so that it doesn't move. Okay, so this is our first layer done. So you do this, um, the way I've done it like this, it means this part is going to remain um, see-through after we spray. So we can go to a second layer. This is just something basic. I mean, you can do um, whatever design you want. Some people like strips, you know, they make them go this way. Um, other people like them straight. This, I mean, it's just a technique that I'm showing you, but with regards to how you want to design it, it's totally, totally up to you. So I'll just put another one in the middle. And go around, round, round. So we have the second one here. Yeah, first, second. So this part is also going to be um, translucent when we're done. Then we can put, oh, I guess we can put one more before that one hurts. Some at the top. So this is just to let you see how this works. But with regards to the design, this is a very, very, very basic thing. Um, yeah, it's just for demonstration purposes for you. Yeah. So if you want, you can make them bend, you can make them straight, make them diagonal. If you want, you can even cut up like some boxes. Yeah, you can cut up boxes, put them around, you know, all those parts won't be sprayed um, when you finish the spraying. So in this case, we're just going to do three lines, three basic lines. Yeah. And um, we can spray now. Yeah, yeah, and then we can, we can start. So remember, as I said, um, 
in the other lesson when we're looking at the basic brain technique but you have to make sure that you put um, at least three quotes if you can't do four, do at least three quotes it's, it's, it's going to help you pick up a spray paint yeah. and remember we start with spraying with shaking to make sure that it comes out really well I'll put my little finger here and then we can start so make sure that it's at a, a good distance from you Remember, not too much at a time. Just do it, just do it a little bit. Again, a little bit. I'm sure even in the video, <laughs> you're able to tell that <laughs> there's some things that are coming. Yeah. Okay, so we have our first coat done. We'll let it settle for at least 10 minutes so when i put the first coat i usually give it 10 minutes after the second coat i give it five minutes um in between um the next the next coat okay so now that um 10 minutes has passed we can now put the second coat again you spray and you shake <laughs> pardon me and then you spray So the gold is sitting quite well on this photo. I think we're not going to have to do four coats, we'll just end at three. Yeah, so already you can see that the gold has um, sat quite well on this photo. So we're just going to do one more, one more coat, and then we'll be good. Yeah. Guys, yeah, so we can now put um, the third and final coat. Then we we'll shake and spray. This one we're pretty much done with the body. You just spray on top. You give it five minutes um, to rest. Hi guys, so the paint has pretty much uh, settled now and you can take out the silver tip and see how it comes out. I'll start at the bottom. And we'll just identify where the oh. so I'm just taking it out slowly. There we go. And we'll take out the second one. Then we take out the last one. Okay. So you see that um, this is our end product. Looks like this. So this is how you get to do bottles where you have paint and you have something translucent there. Like I said, um, this was just to show you how um, this type of solar tape works for your bottles, but you can make any design. You can make a heart shaped design, you can make square design, you could put a name. It really depends on what you specifically are going for. But this is a very, very um, important tool to use um, as you're making your bottles. So hope you enjoyed this lesson, see you in the next one.